this easier to spell. <laughs> They get it center ice. Kirby Docker shaking oh. up his going to the Canadian bench. This was the last tune-up before the tournament started. The captain for Canada, a collision in the neutral zone, and it was very, very damaging. The medical update. Kirby Dock underwent successful surgery in Chicago to repair a right wrist fracture. Okay, Rob. Settle down. Not everything changes hockey history, which is fair, but the Kirby Dock injury would create such an absurd domino effect that you won't believe it. Here's a quick look at all the 15 teams vying for that number one pick and their percentage chances to win the draft lottery. The number 12 overall selection in the 2019 NHL draft belongs to the Minnesota Wild which means Chicago moves from the 12th spot into the top three. Great news for Stan Bowman and the Hawks. Heading into the 2019 NHL Draft, it was clear that Jack Hughes and Capocacco were going number one and two. But after that, it was a wild card draft. And at pick number three, the Blackhawks would go off the board and select Kirby Doc. But when you consider that he was a six foot four, playmaking center who has drawn comparisons to Ryan Getzloff, this pick had the potential to be a slam dunk. Center and move slowly to the right. Is in over the line, back to the middle of the ice, moving in, Deeks to the backhand, score! Gets through, here's a breakaway possibility for Doc, moving in, backhand shot, scores! Left wing side, Doc, forced the steal. Right wing side, scores! As it was the perfect time for the Blackhawks to inject a potential number one center. Like seriously, because even though Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves were aging, they were coming off career years. Long gone were the days of the Blackhawks dynasty. But when a team is rebuilding, or perhaps retooling, what are the two most important positions to draft? A number one defenseman and a number one center. In the prior draft in 2018, the Hawks would draft two defensemen in the first round, which would include Boquist at number eight, who is looking like the next Eric Carlson. The Blackhawks winning this lottery was a ticket to return back to form. And in his rookie season, Kirby Doc would play okay. He wasn't a bona fide top six player, but he was only 18 and showing high end glimpses. Zach Smith, Kirby Doc for the front. The trailer is carpeted. There's Doc, stop! He scores! Kirby Doc. Or Kubali back to Doc. He drives to the backhand. He scores! Kirby Doc! Top of a great playoff performance. And heading into year two, you could just tell that Doc learned a lot from his rookie campaign. Was about to take a big step in the Hawks lineup, as Kirby Doc in his second season would average over 18 minutes per game in ice time. And unless you're Connor Bedard, or a team is positioning a young center into becoming a franchise player, it is very rare for a 19 year old to play over 18 minutes per game, as he would start the year with 10 points in 18 games, which was about a 45 point pace, which is not bad considering he didn't have a lot of power play time. And around this time, we would start to hear the wind of Team Canada beginning to recruit for the World Juniors. But here's the thing, unless you are McDavid, Bedard, or more recently, Macklin Celebrini, players rarely make Team Canada during their draft year. And because Doc went straight to the NHL from juniors, he would never get the opportunity to play in the World Juniors. He would ask, or maybe even peg, Stan Bowman to loan him to Team Canada. And after some debate, Bowman would reluctantly say yes. But why not? Allow your prospect to dominate on the world stage. Or they then take that confidence back to the NHL. On top of that, Kirby Doc would be named captain. However, and this video is brought to you by the VHL Forum where you can create your own player, join a team, and simulate a Hall of Fame career. You can earn weekly experience points by writing articles about the league or your player, creating graphics, making videos, or even recording podcasts. If you don't think you have the time for that, you can earn free weekly points by just checking in with the click of a button. And all of it goes toward making your player the greatest they can be. The Helsinki Titans are currently first place in the league, but the Toronto Legion is catching up with games on hand. Go send some love their way by checking out the link below. Smith's easier to spell. <laughs> They get it center ice. Kirby Docker shaking oh. up his going to the Canadian bench. On a seemingly harmless play, 
Doc would line up a hit against the opposing player. The Russian player would shift at the last second, where Doc's wrist would awkwardly bend and break. And keep in mind, the tournament hadn't even started. This was an exhibition game. And not only did Doc miss the entire World Juniors, but he would miss the entirety of the NHL season. Not to mention that a serious wrist injury can significantly impact a player's future. Yeah, um, it's good to be back. Uh, it's been a long time coming. And after an entire year of rehab, Kirby Doc would make his return for the 21-22 season. Add in the fact that the Hawks would draft Lucas Reichel, on top of making a blockbuster trade for Seth Jones. This, to me at least, showed every indication that the Hawks were committed to the retool, with the idea that Seth Jones would step in and cement the blue line and Kirby Doc was their center of the future. However, Doc's wrist injury, which would cause him to miss nearly an entire season, would clearly impact his play, as he would see regression in year 3, as he would finish with 26 points in 70 games, where the Blackhawks would finish at the bottom of the standings. Jonathan Taves would announce he would miss the entirety of the next season, Add in the Kyle Beach saga, the Blackhawks were in shambles. Even worse, they would trade their first round pick in the deal for Seth Jones. So, what would they do? As it was clear their retool was revolving around the development of Kirby Doc and Alex Dabrinkit. However, because of the broken wrist incident, which would translate into regression in a disaster season, the Blackhawks would go on a fire sale as they would trade Alex Dabrinkit to the Senators in a deal focused on the seventh overall pick where they would draft Kevin Korchinski. We would then see Montreal trade Romanov to the Islanders for the 13th pick, who they would then flip to Chicago in exchange for Kirby Doc, where the Hawks would draft Frank Nazar. They would later trade Jake McCabe to Toronto, and one day later, they would trade Patrick Kane to the New York Rangers. And this fire sale had one goal in mind, tank for Connor Bedard. And by no surprise, after trading away their future stars and best player in franchise history, the Blackhawks would finish second last in the NHL. Where the first overall selection in the 2023 NHL draft belongs to the Chicago Blackhawks. They would win the Connor Bedard sweepstakes. So hold on, let's think about this for a second. Back in 2019, they would win the draft lottery, where they were gifted the third overall pick, where they would draft Kirby Doc, a player they were revolving their retool around. And Kirby Doc was the center of their retool. He would show great progression, break his wrist in a freak accident, which in turn would cause regression, and after a disaster season, they would decide to ditch that plan, go on a fire sale, and land Connor Bedard. Meaning, if Kirby Doc doesn't break his wrist, there is not a chance that the Blackhawks end up with Connor Bedard. And I can say this with confidence, as there was countless articles, quotes from the Blackhawks, that they were in fact building around Kirby Doc. And them going all out for Seth Jones confirms this idea. The Kirby Doc freak accident not only would create a domino effect that turned into Bedard, the Hawks might end up with another first overall pick. And if they win, they will get Macklin Celebrini. Not only that, if Doc doesn't get injured and becomes a 50-60 point guy in his second season, there is no chance that the Hawks trade Patrick Kane, where he most likely starts and ends his career as a Blackhawk. As this incident goes to show how one injury can create an absurd domino effect. The channel is getting so close to 100k, oh my goodness, and you would really make my day by helping me get there. Big shout out to the VHL forum, their link will be in the description, check them out. The Kale McCarr Rookie Chase Box just sold out, but we still have some other inventory in stock, so go check it out down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah, no, Kirby Doc's going to get this opportunity. He scores, Montreal wins. Former team scores. Yeah, look at him. <laughs>